All right, now you guys may have noticed in my other videos when I'm doing deck techs that I have a Dark Magician Girl playmat. Now, I'm going to go into depth about this and just come out and say that I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh. There was a time where I was on the other side of the fence and all I played was Yu-Gi-Oh. I didn't play Magic at the time. And I was actually in the position of defending the game to people who were skeptical, uh, usually other Magic players at the time. I didn't play Magic, of course, so I was trying to defend and say that, oh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is still worthwhile of playing, you know, in comparison. Uh, it's still a fun game, and, and at the time it was deteriorating. It was becoming just a fucking nightmare to play. Uh, they were reprinting the shit out of cards. I was losing money left and right off of uh, cards in my trade binder, everything. And I just, I felt like the game was unstable, and there was really nothing to invest in, because cards that were worth, you know, over $100 suddenly became worth pennies in the years following up. Uh, you have such a, you have all these uh, structure decks, starter decks, uh, reprint tins, like the mega tins they make. They reprint the shit out of so many cards, and they downgrade the rarities, uh, you have secret rares, you have ultra rares, you have super rares, and you just have, uh, I don't know what the other rares are, but I, I remember those three rarities, and, um, what they would do is they would take a card that was, like, secret rare, and those are usually extremely hard to get, and it would usually be, like, $100, and I remember at the time there's a card called, uh, Pot of Duality, and it was worth over $100, and because it was a secret rare, it was very difficult, and it was one of the most played cards at the time. So, what did they do? A year later, they reprinted it as a promo card, like super rare. They downgraded the rarity, uh, two rarities below its original secret rarity. And this just fucked over the value. Uh, nobody really cared about the secret rare anymore. Uh, people were getting super rare versions that were much, much cheaper. And then eventually they reprinted it as a common. Which really pissed me off. Because I... It's not that I had any of these secret rares, but it's like, if we have good cards that are worth a lot of money, I don't want them to absolutely tank in value, and that is one of the biggest reasons why I discourage anyone from fucking playing this game. If you play Yu-Gi-Oh! now and you're watching this video, and you're getting salty right now, just know that I was in your position where I only played Yu-Gi-Oh! and I was frustrated with the fucking game too. I... Absolutely, I lost tons of money. I lost hundreds of dollars at least. Because uh, thank God I only got back into the game and played it for like a few years before I realized that it was just absolute bullshit. It's just, it's not a safe format. It's unstable. If you are if you have kids or anything like that, I can't even imagine what nightmare that's going to be. Uh, I would rather teach kids magic, honestly. It's a better game. It has better fundamentals. Yu-Gi-Oh is constantly changing. They change the fucking rules all the time. They have all these different spell speeds. They have uh, all these different, these brand new interactions they just make up as they go along. They don't even, I mean, in Magic you have keywords, but the rest of the fundamentals of the game pretty much maintain. Uh, in Yu-Gi-Oh, they just constantly change. Uh, in special summons, and, you know, in, in Magic you have mana and you have limits. Uh, you have, you know, you can only do this early on in the game. Or you have to wait until you have more mana in order to do this. In Yu-Gi-Oh, you have all this bullshit where, oh, let's just get as many special summons as possible. And within, like, the first turn, we can win. And they call that, like, a first turn kill. Uh, one turn kill, they call it OTKs. And it's just a fucking toxic environment, too, because you have all this, you have a, you have a huge mixture of uh, younger players and newer players. Uh, versus older players, more experienced players, and you have a bunch of more, a lot more kids in Yu-Gi-Oh, and that could be accredited towards the anime and all that bullshit, uh, which used to be good, by the way. And I, again, what I want to touch on in this video is that I'm not saying I absolutely 100% hate Yu-Gi-Oh, because I will reminisce on the days when it was actually fun and enjoyable, and a big part of that was the anime. It used to be a lot better. Or at least it was to me and a lot of other people. They enjoyed the days of Duelist Kingdom and Yugi Moto and uh, Pegasus, Kaiba. Not what the fuck it is now where you have like what appears to be these cyber goth kids like uh, riding motorcycles and shit. I don't even know what the hell they're doing now. <laughs> just, just some fucking fresh hell that I can't even comprehend. That's how long I've been out of it. 
I've been out of it for at least four years now. I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh! in at least four years. And it's already changed so much to the point where I'm looking at the lists and it's like, what the fuck are these cards? Like, Pendulum Monsters, what the hell are those? I don't even know, like, what the fuck, what does this do? What kind of nightmare do we live in where the game is constantly changing to the point where there's no safe investments? I mean, if you think Standard is a bad investment... Guess what? Yu-Gi-Oh! is a thousand times worse because their ban list... I could go on and on about the fucking... Konami is basically Hitler in comparison to Wizards of the Coast. And I'm not even... This is just talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! I'm not, I'm not even touching on all the crap they did with fucking Hideo Kojima and Metal Gear Solid. They screwed up so much in their video game department, man. Yu-Gi-Oh is basically the only way they fucking make money now cuz as far as video games go they're, you know, they're shit out of luck. They ha- they don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't even know how to make a good card game. It used to be good. I remember playing back when it used to be it wasn't as fast-paced. You had uh some decent fundamental cards. You had uh searchers, you had I mean it, they were really good. You had like Mystic Tomatoes. I remember those cards, but Again, some of you might not even know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> but it used to be so much more fun when the game was a lot slower paced than what it is now. Now you have decks that are super fast paced. And Konami being fucking Hitler, they, they're they completely fine with it getting faster and faster. They do not, I mean, they believe in the sort of power creep to the point where you have better cards intentionally being printed and being circulated into the current format. Which again... They don't. They only have one format. It's advanced format. The other format, traditional. No one fucking plays it. So you have people who are uh, all these good decks because all the cards that they print now are intentionally busted. So they intentionally make busted cards to inject into their current format, and it makes the game unfair because then they go turn around and then they ban the card and they ban the cards and like within the next couple months. So, I hope you enjoy these cards we're making, says Konami, as then they turn around and ban it after the first couple months of its existence, which is what they did with cards like the Dragon Rulers. Uh, you know, the, that was the last time I think I played, was like four years ago. And so, <laughs> they just made these cards, and within a year they they all got like restricted or limited or banned. Just absolute bullshit. They are literally Hitler by comparison. They, But again, I mean, I know there's only so much you can do with Yu-Gi-Oh. It's not, it, it's not made to the point where it's not a mana-based game. You have special summons, and it, it's intentionally meant to be a faster-paced game. Which, again, you're going to have a lot of broken, fast-paced cards. I understand that, but that's not my problem. I mean, you had a good game when it first started out. It wasn't as fast-paced and broken when it first started out. Uh, Cards were a lot slower. They were more fair and balanced. Uh, You also, I mean, again, you had cards like Monster Reborn, which are absolutely busted. I get that, but you had you had a fun mechanic there. You had like I remember Pyramid Turtles is one of my favorite cards. You could search up zombies. I mean, it's awesome. I mean, you had a lot of good cards there. Now it's absolute bullshit with Pendulum shit where, oh, you get all these special summons if it's between this and this. I don't even fucking care anymore because (laughs) just a nightmare. Don't waste your money on Yu-Gi-Oh. If you play Yu-Gi-Oh, let me tell you something. Play Magic. It is a thousand times better. Even though you still have people complaining about how expensive it is, you have more options of formats. Cards maintain their value for the most part outside of standard. And you don't have all this bullcrap of, uh, they have like regional tournaments and shit. We have all these weeaboos and smelly pieces of shit that, you know, don't take showers. And it's just horrible. I could go on and on about that compared to the Pro Tours and Magic. I'm going to touch on this uh, topic more in the future. (laughs) But if you like this video, please uh, like, subscribe, share. I'm signing out. Peace.